Um, so yeah, I think a lot of people. I saw some of them, uh, some some comments about it as well in Twitch chat. A lot of people were like, oh, yeah? "Are you ever going to introduce who that third uh, guest is going to be? Oh. Like, what what is that picture Ooh. all about?" And uh, I think <laughs> it might be time to show you guys who has been hiding, uh, lurking in his den, all the while. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna try to coordinate. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the image up there, and okay. I'm gonna count down. And you're gonna reveal the name, because it's okay. your it's your fault. He's here. Well, okay, I'm okay. ready. Three, okay, two, one. It's Eugene. No, it's Hogger. <laughs> Hogger. <laughs> Hogger. Someone in chat actually knew. Oh my god! Just before you revealed it, someone in chat was like, "It's Hogger, isn't it?" Yep. There, there we go. Uh, <laughs> public service announcement: It is not official. This is not no. Blizzard confirmed. It is merely our brains just going crazy that we could maybe have <laughs> Hogger in the game at some point. So don't go to Reddit. Don't go to Twitter and say, oh, oh my God, they spoilered it. We know who the next year is going to be because we don't. It's just our imagination, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blizzard, please don't don't hurt us. Hogger confirmed. Same patch as Rainer and Asmodan reworks. I want it on Twitter right now. No, I'm messing. Don't right. do that. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I, I, I'm the mastermind behind this one. And let me Kendrick. tell you one thing: this yeah. Nupkex outdid himself. Oh. It's an amazing kit, and I've done some of those kits in the past when I uh, ran a show with Tetcher, and we basically crafted um, yeah. the hero concepts there. And I have rarely seen a cooler kit, so I can't wait awesome. to kick this thing off <laughs> with you guys. And uh, Nupkex okay. is going to do us the pleasure of uh, introducing the abilities and uh, the designs that he was thinking about. <laughs> All right. Boom. Also, we should say, uh, shout out to Dragonflame. Who, oh, uh, did the man, artwork. dude. I was going to do it because uh, the people are now going to see the the whole beauty ah. of his uh, of his drawings, man. Dragonflame, awesome. who's doing the uh, sub emotes, actually, for both of our channels on Twitch. Yep. Um, he's an amazingly talented artist. He's very mm -hmm. friendly, very reliable, and very quick as well, which is basically all the qualities yep. you would want of an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ticks all the boxes. <laughs> yeah. So he was he was uh, basically uh, in charge for this one, which is mm. pretty awesome. So all the images, all the graphics you're gonna see, of you know, off Hogger here are basically made possible because of him. Yep, I actually haven't. I've only seen the main picture. I haven't seen any of the ability icons yet, so I'm pretty excited to to see nice. these as well. Nice. So we're gonna surprise a lot of people. <laughs> you included. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Introduce your your concept, uh, your ideas behind it, and uh, okay, let's make it a good one. All right, cool. So this is Hogger. He is gonna be like a a warrior and slash bruiser type hero. Um, I mean, when I was thinking about him, there's a few things I wanted to do. Uh, I mean, it's funny, actually, that the Rainer rework came out, and we're kind of talking about it. it's nice to have these relatively simpler heroes in the game, because I think that's a nice thing as well. It's great mm -hmm. when you have super complicated heroes, but I like the idea that you have a hero that's a bit more straightforward sometimes, but in like it's still a fun, interactive uh, hero, but they're not like crazy complex. They're not like working off all these weird resets and things like that. They're a little, little bit more straightforward but still, you know, solid. And I thought that ties into it as well, because when you fight Hogger, Hogger is one of the most iconic hero, uh, mm -hmm. not heroes, iconic characters out of the world of Warcraft. Like literally in the human starting zone, he was the first elite mob you ever ran into. Yep. So he made a big impression on, the, on his new players. You can imagine this was back in, what was it, 2004? Something um, along those lines. Something along those lines. So I was, I think I was about like 13 or 14. <laughs> I was just a little kid. YouTube didn't exist. Twitch didn't exist. Nope. Um, like We had to pay was, per minute for internets. Yeah, I was going to say like in Ireland, broadband was like, <laughs> I think it's just a very, very new thing. We were on dial-up connections. You had to like, di like dialing your phone mm -hmm. to get on the internet before that. It, it was a long time ago, really. You walked in here. Uh, and then you fight this elite mob, and he was terrifying. And like, well, what is that dragon like around his frame? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like today. It's so there's so much info that's so easy to get with the internet now. You're like, what's mm -hmm. Hogger? Oh yeah, blah, great. There's like a bazillion YouTube videos how to beat Hogger. No, it wasn't like that at all. Uh, like people used to make raids to beat Hogger. Um, it was insane. So I was like, okay, 
let's kind of keep it a bit true to that. You know, that this idea of like the raid boss, right? Kind of like what they did with Arthas, right? Give him that raid boss feeling, like this this big scary dude, but he's not going to be doing crazy things. Like he was the he was the elite in the first zone. He's not super crazy, but he mm-hmm. still does some cool stuff. Okay, so we dive into his abilities and let's talk about him. Oh boy, this one will be good. We're going to start with the trait. Okay, so the trait is called Posse. Um, so for this one, Hogger is accompanied by two uh, two Noel bodyguards. Yep. And these guys, they'll be a bit like Misha, but you don't really have direct <laughs> control. They'll just kind of follow Hogger around, right? And they're just going to help out, man. These bodyguards are just going to beat up the, the dudes that Hogger's <laughs> fighting. So. And that's what uh, the, the sounds <laughs> they make, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I thought this would be awesome. So, you know... He, uh, I say Hogger gets like plus five armor. That seems fairly, you know, it's it's noticeable, but it's not yeah. OP or anything. Give an armor bonus for each one that's alive. So there's, you know, a, a reason to kill these these posse members mm-hmm. and some talents will tie into it as well. Um, but yeah, there's these big dudes. They're out there. They're fighting with you. You know, they're helping you beat up heroes. They're helping you push the lane, fight merc camps, whatever. Uh, you get a bonus while they're alive. Uh, and then they like have a Misha-esque respawn. So again, I thought, you know, it's just that cool. It's that hawker vibe. You know, you're, you're the, the leader, the war chief of the Knowles. And you've yeah. got, you know, your, your dudes, your bros just hanging out with you at all times. Ready and then whenever up, so whenever one of those posse members uh, respawns, uh, you have yeah. the original sound file uh, from World of Warcraft. <laughs> and you trigger and aggro one of those Knowles. Like, yeah. and then they come <laughs> over. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> that, oh, that, that's there's, not... <laughs> there's so many possibilities for Blizzard to do this. Yep. Make a murloc skin as well. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, those sounds that just strike fear into the heart of every you know early game vanilla WoW player. <laughs> they just exactly. Stick with you. All right. Yeah. No, that's that's so awesome. Like, um, once again, it, it, we just saw Asmodan like getting a little bit of love mm. to his demons. Uh, we could certainly tailor and tinker a couple of talons around the the hogger minions, the hogger bodyguards. Yeah. Um, super cool. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you know, Misha, Misha's way ahead of Rexar. It's kind of like, oh, we're fighting Misha, yeah. and Rexar's way in the back. And she counts axes. as a hero, whereas yeah, those guys yeah. probably wouldn't. Exactly. Yeah, whereas this time, and, like, other heroes, maybe they throw in their summons. The summons are very disposable. These ones are more substantial. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh, here comes Hogger with his bros, and they're they're all up in our face. It's like he's kind of like his own personal army, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, all right, so for his Q ability, yeah. uh, this one is Vicious Slice. There we go. Um, and again, these are just rough numbers, a rough idea, but basically I was thinking it would empower your next melee attack to do bonus damage, let's say 50%, yeah. and would do a, a mark on the target for three seconds that would make all your allied attacks, so heroes or your posse members as well, do 1% maximum HP bonus damage to the target. So it, I thought, you know, it's just a fun little gameplay thing, you know, like empower your next basic attack. It's relatively, mm-hmm. relatively simple to do. It's not a skill shot, anything like that, but it does substantial damage. And then it awards uh, players for, you know, teams for playing well, for punishing the target that Hogger slices up, yeah. doing it with your posse. You know, they get bonus damage as well. That all adds up. It's a small thing, but it does add up um, when you, you play around it in a smart way. So exactly. I thought that'd be pretty fun and work and in that posse. I don't know. think we mentioned this, but his role was intended to be a warrior slash bruiser. Yeah, um, I see him as very, he'd be like a solo laner type hero, yeah. I think, for the most so, part. So yeah. basically, like he wouldn't be the burstiest of hero anyways. So no. um, it's it's mm-hmm. a nice addition to his damage output potential, but it's not like yeah. he's going to you know become like a one-shot hero or anything. No, de- no, it's definitely not the goal. He's supposed to be, I would say, like this big tanky dude with his tanky enough bros on the mm-hmm. front, just putting out that sustained <laughs> damage and... Being that bruisery threat, yeah. <laughs> just, just had to laugh here. We're gonna give a shout out to uh, Razalath here in the chat because he said, uh, "Is Hogger countered by a swarm of level one chromies, though?" And referring to uh, those level one player raids, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> All going for naked gnomes. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, exactly, oh, probably man. would be. You have to be. <laughs> Good times, dude. Good times. Yeah. Um, so for his W, mm-hmm. uh, I call it Noel Frenzy. Um, and what this would do would boost your, the movement and attack speed of Hogger and the Posse. Uh, yeah. And I thought, you know, okay, let's make it a bit interesting. Let's say it has a 12-second cooldown and a 6-second duration. Mm-hmm. So you could have it like it kind of like 50% uptime. And I thought it'd be kind of fun if it would kind of stack up those bonuses higher and higher over the duration. Right. So it's kind of like you just he does a little war cry thing and they all start going crazy like yeah let's go go beat these guys up and they keep getting kind of stronger and faster <laughs> so it gives you a bit of that you know in, in in combat movement speed 
um, you know, you can kind of plan around it, be like, okay, well, this is getting more powerful. So I want to make sure maybe use the first little bit to gap close, but then I want to make the most of the attack speed bonus. Yeah. Maybe combo it with that vicious slice ability. We're doing that extra little bit of damage per hit, get loads of little hits in for extra damage. People know then, okay, if we CC Hogger or the posse, you know, if we do something to them during the end of their frenzy that they'll, you know, they'll be tired out after that. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough work being a, being a knoll. So you know, they can't keep it up <laughs> all the time. So we can work around it. I thought it'd be kind of fun. No, for sure. <laughs> it's, it's already fun. got inbuilt synergy with his Q as well. Yeah. You know, the more attack speed you yeah. have, the more percentage damage you're going to deal into your opponents. Uh, I like mm. it. it. It's nice and easy, you know, and I think that's very important yeah. when you play, uh, you know, sometimes a bruiser because you're mm. probably in that solo lane. And if you have like complicated skill shots everywhere, it doesn't really make the hero that much, you know, reliable and uh, yeah. viable in lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like I said, it's great to have complex heroes, but it's mm -hmm. also great to have simpler heroes as yeah. well. Uh, it's nice to have the, the different levels of it for different situations. Mm -hmm. um, so his E, uh, I'm going to call Gnaw the Bones. Gnaw the Bones. A very, a very, like another very null themed thing. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, you can, you can activate this and it would heal you for a large chunk of your HP. Is that actually, isn't that actually one of his abilities in, uh, in WoW? I think so. I know for a fact that Vicious Slice is, because I was yeah. Googling it. Like, what are Hogger's abilities? And mm -hmm. Vicious Slice is the one that always comes up. There we go. And then Noel Frenzy, I feel, is pretty typical, too, of Noel's. Mm -hmm. And then I think Noel the Bones might have been. It might have been. I can't remember yeah. off the top of my head now. But it feels very Noel-ish anyway. So this would be, you know, he'll, let's say, 30% of his HP over a short time. But how about, like, a big, chunky cooldown? Let's say a minute cooldown. But every time you kill a minion, it lowers the cooldown a little bit. Every time you kill a hero, it lowers the cooldown a, a large bit. So mm -hmm. the idea is that every time Hogger kills something, he's kind of like collecting the bones. And then like gnaw the bones, he's kind of like, yeah, him and his posse, you know, they start chowing, chewing down, chowing down on, uh, on those yeah, bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that delicious marrow. Yum, mm. yum. No. <laughs> and you know what? I, I always like super impactful abilities that could have a tremendous cooldown because I don't think there's a single yeah. basic ability in the game right now that has a one-minute cooldown. Um not even uh, a 30 second head. cooldown, I believe. No. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I know there's a couple that have a big cooldown off the top of my head, but nothing that yeah. big. And we don't have, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think we have mm. any, uh, this is basically acting like a pseudo uh, reset, right? Because if you take a hero down, you get like yeah. a really significant cooldown reduction yeah, of uh, exactly. half the uh, duration. So yes. we don't really have any protective cooldown resets in the game, right? It's only damage, like Genji, Li Ming, uh, Grey uh -huh. Mane. But uh, uh, we don't I mean, really have yeah. a tank who gets, like, a super, super big boon uh, of, you know, taking down enemy heroes. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, the Haka with the hero kind stalker talents yeah. kind of mm -hmm. works similar to this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, it, I very much base this kind of around that. Right. Um, but this would be just baseline. This is how the kit works. Whereas the Haka, a, a lot of people, and the meta thing to do is to spec him more into generating essence from killing minions right. whereas hogger kind of gets some of those resets off heroes mm -hmm. and like just to enable him to be in that front line beating fools up a bit more you know you have that heal but you have to think about how you're going to use it um I like and yeah it. then just you know delicious enemy heroes just, just <laughs> feast on their corpses <laughs> they heal up a little bit <laughs> i like it yeah i like it dude mm, there you I, go. I told you I, I told you guys this kit was going to be great <laughs> yeah so uh, ready for the first one the first heroic. Okay, oh, so the here first we go. Heroic. It's right, my favorite called... thing ever. <laughs> this one's called the Doom of Elwyn. I actually saw a couple of different names for this. There was also the Scourge of Elwyn and things like that. Yeah. But this one, I, I, I don't know if you had the full description. Yeah, you do. Okay, so relive the horror of raiding Hogger as a level one raid group. <laughs> so Hogger temporarily gains stats commensurate to about 10 levels worth of stats. So like for 10 seconds, it's like Hogger, he goes elite mode, right? Yeah. He so becomes let's say you're playing... the elite mod. Yeah. yeah, he becomes that raid boss. So, I mean, 10, 10 levels of stats is about 40% more hit points, mana, damage, all the rest. Um, I think you should get that gold elite dragon portrait around Hogger's portrait yep, if you're playing absolutely, him. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? I'm just like, okay, Hogger's just beast And he mode should gain and, size, yeah. you know, he should become bigger, leaner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He just he comes bigger and badder. Yeah. Um, like you target him instead of seeing his level, you just see a skull. You know, it's scary. Oh, you see the question mark. You know, in, in WoW, when yeah. you have when you have yeah. like a super boss monster, you see the question mark. You don't know his level anymore. Yeah, exactly. So oh, I just thought that'd God. be hilarious. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and they have to. They would have to have that flavor text of reliving the the horror, the terror. 
<laughs> of uh, <laughs> fighting Hawker when you first find him. Yeah. Oh, man, it's so good. I had so a lot good. of fun with that one. And yeah. of course, it would be uh, probably have like a significant cooldown. It would probably have a relatively short duration uh, to yeah, prevent him from it. going out of uh, control. But yeah, yeah. I just love it, man. I, I, I don't think we have any mechanics in the game like that, like a hero no. gaining levels and stats boosts. Uh, and it's yeah. super easy to do for them, right? They wouldn't even yeah. have to change uh, or introduce a new mechanic. They would just make this hero stronger, you know, individually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... I, that's it. Uh, the thing is, it wouldn't be super OP because you know a lot of the power that and comes from levels is tied into talents. Yeah, you right? don't get the talents, right? Yeah. This is just the just stats. pure stats. But it also draws attention to how those stat boosts that you do get from leveling up matter as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it would just feel like, oh shit, Hogger, like yeah. this is terrifying, right? It's a giant no, and he's super. And tall. then he gets it's a tax speed. He's gonna hit you with that big cleaver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that full-on raid boss. You're suddenly this scared level one. You know, human priest in your your cloth robe with your, you know, gray wooden stick <laughs> with no stats on it. You're like, oh my god. Yeah. So that's what I went for there. There's a good question in the chat, by the way, by Joshua Kelly. Um, yeah. With the minions, the posse also get buffs. Or is uh, it just I, I would him? say no. Mm -hmm. I think just him. Yeah, I think just him. So you would have some counterplay. Like, okay, well, let's attack the posse instead. Kill those off. Remove the armor that right, they're giving right. and the bonuses they're giving. A bit of counterplay, and also it would be kind of weird if the posse got buffed too. I think you just want Hogger, just be like, No, this this is the dude, mm -hmm. this is the dude, Hogger's the man. No, nice. the other guys they're just his posse, you know, they're just his bros. It's like no matter it's what like... you would have come up as his R2, his second heroic ability, it loses. Yeah. There, there's no chance anyone is ever going to pick the other heroic ability, no matter how epic it is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like Hogger's 50 cent on the posse is like the G unit, you know, exactly like, the relationships going on here, right. All right. Well, let's talk about his or two. I didn't right, have to. We, we still got to mention it. Yep. Honorary mention. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one's called the big crew. The big crew. Um. So with this one, I was like, all right. What What else could we do with them? So I said, let's make this a posse based one. So this mm -hmm. would instantly revive all the dead posse members, and then it would double the number of posse members that you have. So by default, he has two posse members. This would revive them, so you have those two back, and then you'd have an extra two posse dudes would come in as well. So you'd have like this this big army of gnolls just like <laughs> trudging along with you again reliving that hogger experience you're fighting hogger you back up a bit you're like oh my god then nah, nah. Just, oh no from, oh no the there's back. another one from the cave uh, yeah. another one <laughs> i back rode another one which on its way over here just <laughs> i rode another one here come all these flipping yeah, we'll just come respawn on. god damn it yeah they just re yeah they respawn underneath you like oh my god yeah exactly <laughs> so i thought that would be kind of fun like mm -hmm. a fun little alternative yeah um I don't know, like maybe it could be like a bit of a longer duration or uh, when we talk about some of the talents, if uh, we have time for that, like I, I thought you can make it synergize a bit with the talents. Sure. So it could open up some gameplay ways there. Yeah. But, yeah. And yeah, you would get, you would get, um, exactly. Extra armor you, you get 20 armor instead of 10. Bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So there's, but yeah, it synergizes nicely with all of his base kit, you know? Um, so like, it the probably Doom has a much shorter cooldown than the other one. Yeah, yeah, or maybe like a little bit of longer duration. I, I don't know exactly yeah. how you'd balance it out, but yeah, you got like the, the Doom of Elwyn, which is boom, Hogger becomes the raid boss. Mm. He's just massive, he's tough, he hits like a truck, he's terrifying <laughs> for a short time. Where you got the big crew, where it's like, okay, well, Hogger, he's still, he's still big and tough, but now he's got a big old posse with him, and those guys are here, and they mean business as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, two different flavors of, uh, of the, the Noel King. Oh, man. <laughs> So uh, I, I, I'm all sorts of crazy combos and crazy team compositions are just floating through my mind right now. Uh, like what <laughs> if you went for uh, Doom of Elwin at level 10, you have a Rhaegar yeah. in your team, and boom, you drop the Bloodlust, and that 10 level <laughs> monster of an abomination is going to hit you with that Bloodlust. <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez. Yeah, that would be and pretty also healing himself for God yeah. only knows how much damage there he would uh, he would heal himself for. They they just nerfed ancestral uh, in like yesterday's patch as well. They're preparing. True, true. Blizzard is preparing for the hogger attack. <laughs> it's happening. Oh man, <laughs> it would be absolutely glorious. I love it, and uh, yeah. I can already see you know him with the help of his posse and uh, the attack speed and all the other stuff that he's got going on, becoming actually mm. a pretty good anti bruiser. Actually, he's a bruiser himself, yeah. but he also becomes an anti bruiser, right? Percentage damage. Yeah. Attack speed. Yeah. Hundred percent. Maybe. That's definitely something I wanted to do. You wanted like, to uh, you wanted to talk about some of the talents too, right? I did, yeah. Like yeah. ideas so, about I mean, talents, like just yeah. 
to finish that thought, you know, he's mm -hmm. not the type of hero that he's not one of these hyper mobile dudes that's mm -hmm. diving the back line and killing the squishies. Like this is he's just I see him coming. Big no. He's you see him coming. He's just gonna come up, he's gonna start smacking on that front line and taking the hits himself. He's a big elite no. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I don't know if you have the talents up on screen. I can just like uh, I don't have them on go. screen, unfortunately. Sorry. Okay, cool. All right. Well just real quick. I you know you could have like a posse tier. And then I thought I came up with some cool level 20s that you do want to throw out there because I think mm -hmm. I thought some of them were quite fun. But like the posse tier, it's like, okay, let's let you customize your posse a bit. So for example, you have the strong posse. This time it changes your gnolls, your posse gnolls to be armored gnolls. So they're bigger, they're tougher, nice. more HP. Maybe they're not as vulnerable to CC. Um, so just, okay, my posse is getting focused. I want these guys. Alternatively, you could have like the big posse, which is you just get one extra knoll. Mm -hmm. So they're still the regular squishy knolls, but you got more of them. So it's going to trigger more damage off that vicious slice. You get that five extra armor, armor for having one yep. alive. Could synergize well with the big crew. You could have six of these little knolls out, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, that'd be cool. Or then, you know, mage knolls. So you got like one of those caster knolls. Uh, there were little guys in Warcraft 3, I know. They like swing like lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's also um there's like yeah. little caster gnolls in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. So there like you go. Like, shamans, okay, maybe... I think they have a lot of shamans, shaman dudes. Yeah, there you go. So you could have those little like castery type guys. Mm -hmm. They'd be a bit squishier, squishier, but they'd be ranged. Maybe they have a bit of a splash attack, help you with that wave clear. Nice. Bit. So then come on, you know, customize your posse a bit. Thought that'd be kind of fun. And then level 20, I came up with a a few a few fun <laughs> ones. So one of them I thought would be uh, lead by example. So this is Hogger cannot die so long as a single posse member is still oh alive. Oh my god, that's a twin <laughs> talent right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, oh. you know, he's like, I, I can't let my bros down. I gotta show them how it's done. <laughs> so he just will not die until you kill those posse members. Oh just keep my trucking god. trucking at one hit point. I think yeah. we would have to, like, if we, if we uh, talked about talents like these, which is amazing, like, how would these uh, posse members, you know, surround Hogger? Would they be, like, super close to him? Would they, ha would they have a little distance? Would they circle around him? Yeah. That's the tough thing. I think they kind of like be maybe flank him to either side. Mm -hmm. And then if you had extra ones, they kind of again flank to the side as right. well. So he kind of gives the like that visual impression of this like quarter dudes just coming mm -hmm. at you head on. You know, it's like that that scene in the you know, the typical scene in the movie where it's like the line of horsemen crests the hill. So it's like, oh, mm -hmm. that's a really thin line. It's like one horse deep or something, but it looks epic on the top of that <laughs> hill. It's that kind of feel, you know, yeah. um, or then my other level 20 talent, which is my favorite one, I got to say. I call this one, it's called Bring Your Kid to Work Day. So yeah. you have a little baby knoll, which what is really hell? squishy, following Hogger around. So a bit behind him, just kind of wanders around. Baby. After. Cute little baby. And if that knoll gets killed, the so baby knoll? Yeah, if the enemy team accidentally kills the baby knoll with like AoE, or they click it by accident with their single target attacks, or a sense of a flame strike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sends Hogger and his posse totally crazy. <laughs> they enrage. <laughs> So they get like 20% more health, 20% more damage, 20% more movement speed for like, I don't know, like 10 seconds or something. Like these dudes are like, you kill my kid, you kill baby. No, oh we're going to get God, you. Dude. No, I just thought that'd be hilarious, right? It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Well, Kalthus, for goodness sake, don't hit the baby. No, <laughs> be careful with the flame strikes. You know, it's like, that's the kid. Respect the kid. Be nice. You know, it's a super cute little no. All right. I, lo I love it, dude. <laughs> Uh, Probably uh, Heroes of the Storm would go from Peggy 15 or whatever it is right now to Peggy well, 18. Yeah. You'd have to raise the marketing, age marketing I mean, team says, cronies. no, we can't do that, guys. Developers, we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but man, it would be it would be so much fun though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That that is uh that's my uh, Someone hired this my, man. Hogger, my hogger theory craft in there. <laughs> <laughs> cool man all right so i mean there's nothing else to say other than this would be an amazing kit and uh yeah. i would love to uh to see that in the game i'm it, hogger i think is slowly but surely becoming the new deathwing you know a lot of community oh, members yeah. are so hyped about him i know kalaris yeah. for a fact is a super big fan of hogger as well i think he, ah, he even posted nice. um like photoshopped um character selection <laughs> screens uh speaking of oh, screenshots wow. by the way have you i you, you haven't seen this one I'm going to show you guys what oh. Dragonflame also sent me, right? It's not just oh. that he is an absolute boss when it comes to designing these icons or like a like a portrait of the hogger, but he actually sent me an in-screen, uh, an in-game screenshot. So prepare your bodies for this one. Ooh. Okay, you can see it right here. I'm going to make it a little smaller so it fits here. 
He actually drew and photoshopped Hawker and his posse. You can see them oh right there. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> into the belly. You see the little baby one actually right behind yeah. Hawker. <laughs> it's so good. That it's would so be amazing. Good. Hell yeah! Like look at them. It's like an army of gnolls. <laughs> with a giant gnoll in the middle. It's terrifying. Oh my! God. They, they're all wearing their own little uh, outfits as well, like yeah. blue, red, pink, purple. <laughs> yep. So good. <laughs> Oh man. Dragon Flame, man, you're you're a crazy one. Well done. <laughs> I just like imagine as well that like you could hear it through the fog. It's like super loud. You just hear the <laughs> knoll sounds. Even through the fog of war. Yeah. So you're just like you're walking like I'm in this bush and you just hear like nah! Like, oh yeah, they're in the bush. Here they come. Oh, oh yeah, boy. That's, that's that's super cool. That's great work. Dragon Flame really knocked out of the park on that one. He did a great job. Absolutely. And the <laughs> fact that he would actually say he would be trying to do this for every episode. Uh, for every wow. episode of Ch of Chop Shop here in the Calm Before the Storm podcast, there I, I can't wait to to get on <laughs> the next one. But I, I think it's safe to say, no matter what I come up with in two weeks' time, it's never going to be that awesome as the Knoll. It, it is harder. It's just so nice. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, man. I'm glad you liked it. 